he saw that this team is a little more mature? I mean, would you say that this, this team is a little more mature in the last years? I, I definitely would. I, I think just from the, the standpoint of um, sort of how workouts have gone, um, you know, the, the academic side of things, and, um, you know, and we're a little bit older. And, and, and I think that definitely helps in, in terms of those guys doing the best they can to exemplify what we want Buckeye to be in terms of, of who we are and what we are. I think about last year, you talked about how many roles you had to figure out. And you just talked about guys have to grab their roles and embrace them this year. Do you think you have the same number of questions about this team as you did last year? Or do you think you have a few more answers this year? I, I think we have a few more answers. Because I think any time you lose five seniors off the team, you lose the best guard in the country as the number two pick in, in the, the draft. Um, there's going to be some some voids. There's going to be some unanswered questions uh, where a lot of these guys play significant minutes. I mean, you know, statistically, the top six guys are back from last year. I think that's a pretty good nucleus in today's day and age of college basketball to have six guys back, at, especially at this level, um, that have been a part of something. Everybody full go and good to go when you guys start on Sunday. Yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, I mean we, we've had our nicks and nacks, and, and um, but but nothing nothing too major. Do you guys have to take it easy on Jay Sean at all? Do you? I mean, just maybe not subject him to quite as much pounding given his size and where he plays, or do yeah. you do anything differently with him this year? You know, it's, it's funny you ask that because I, I read an interesting thing this summer about uh, certain types of players and. As, as a coach, you fall in love with those guys who compete to get a drink of water. They compete to uh, be the first guy to get the ball off the rack. And sometimes you you're, you don't mentally think about the, the pounding that, that maybe he's taking. And, and you know, a lot of Aaron Kraft was that way. Uh, Jay Sean's a little bit like that. So I, I think you know you can't take him out of something because he, he likes the competition, but. Just sort of being more cognitive in terms of what uh, his body's going to do could probably be a good thing for us. Coach, how have the guys adapted to Chris Jensen and what's he kind of brought uh, energy-wise to this yeah, You know, I, I think that uh, from the get-go, um, you know, because it, Chris was involved in recruiting some of these guys. And um, it would be two years, three years he's been gone. And, um, you know, I, I think that they like his intensity. They like... Uh, the fact that hey, he's, he's in there trying to make them better. And uh, if, if they don't want to work, then you know, you're kicked out of the gym and he'll work on his own game. Somebody, somebody's going to get better. Uh, and, and so they, they've come to adapt to that. But I, I think that you know just his, his worldly knowledge in terms of the game of basketball, and, and not only from his time here, we final four in the eight, two years he was here, um, you know, you look at, at where he's been, who he's coached, and, and that sort of thing. So I think there's there's obviously a respect level that is, is very, very high. What is your explanation for not wearing the jersey that you were wearing earlier to media day? <laughs> Mike had to borrow it. Okay. That was, that was the day. Did you just do that to kind of give the guys a laugh? Because Cam said when he saw the photo, he was crying laughing. <laughs> no, what happened was I was going to change to work out, and... David and Kyle had the uniform laying on the floor, and I said, you know, it looks a little bit better if somebody's in it. And they said, well, no kidding, the guys aren't here yet, so we're going to be able to put it on, not thinking anything yeah. was going to happen. And truth be told, that's my one time that I uh, always wanted to play in the Big Ten. I wasn't good enough, and for about a four-minute stretch that I felt like a dream had come true. The camp said he's never seen you with, like, with no sleeves on, and he was, like, surprised at your muscle definition. Well, I mean, you know, it was... <laughs> Sometimes I give a little gun show. Uh, <laughs> no, I, you know, 49 years old, man, it's, it gets hard. <laughs> hey, Chad, when you all finished uh, last season, you obviously went to meetings with everybody. Um, there were discussions about what everybody individually needs to do. Was there a universal message with every player, every coach, about what had to do? change what you wanted to see evolve in the program? No, I, I think, in, in, in my opinion, or not my opinion, but uh, the, the, the biggest message was we're, we're going to fight for our culture every single day. And, and um, from, from the littlest of things, there's, there's going to be uh, a demand of, of uh, we're, we're not going to take anything for granted. We're not going to uh, 
we, we feel like we know what it takes to win here. And, and I think we've got the type of guys that are, are willing to do that. And um, you know, I think that was probably the, the, the biggest thing. We, we knew we were going to have some trouble. And uh, we were perfectly fine with that. But I, I think uh, for us, it was getting established, getting new guys in here. This, this, Let's get the role going in terms of, of what we want to be about and how we want to play and, and, and those types of things was, was probably the biggest message. In terms of physical development, uh, skill set development, are there a couple of things that stood out to you as they got back from the summer and got back into work here that stood out to you as that's a real change? Somebody developed a game, uh, developed physically, mm -hmm. obviously Jay Shot's healing. Right. Uh, things like that that stood out to you? Um, yeah, I, I'll be honest. I, I was a couple things stood out. I, I thought that uh, um, like Cam, Kata, and, and Mark were, were uh, playing at a very high level uh, this summer. The things that we were doing, and, and almost like they, the light had maybe gone on in terms of, of uh, them starting to get what it takes to be the players that they want to be, and, and we need that to be. Um, you know, I, I think Jay Sean being out. I don't even view that as a bad thing in terms of him resting his body and getting completely healed. So, you know, hopefully we, we start on Sunday and he's 100%. I don't think he's in the best shape he can possibly be in, but that's understandable. Uh, it, was, it was early, uh, I'll be honest with you, because I think that, uh, you know, as I told our guys this summer, I mean, we technically we did what we were supposed to do last year. We won 11 games in the Big Ten. But our immaturity at the beginning of the season is, is probably what cost us from our eighth straight NCAA tournament. And um, not taking anything away from any of the teams that we played, but you know we just weren't as, as, as focused and mature and, and understanding the, that we weren't bought in to the level we needed to be uh, at that juncture of the season. And, and those are things that as you go back and you look and, and you say, why? And, and the buy-in, the immaturity probably just wasn't there. Can you get a sense already about how this team is handling it as opposed to last year's Yeah, team? You know, I, I think, good. Now, we start, you know, two-a-days and, and, and all that stuff starting on Sunday. Um, we'll, we'll see just sort of how tough we are and, and uh, um, you know, you, you see guys kind of fade in and out and you say, well, he's not ready. Um, because, I, as I said, uh, we have to practice and make that our test. Hey, Ted, Kaylee Mizell, ABC6. Just the guys have mentioned that there is a no excuses mentality, and I just was wondering where that, if that started with them and the chip on their shoulder, or if that started with you, or if that's just kind of happened. Well, I think it, it probably started with me on June 6th when we had our first team meeting, and, and um, I'm glad that they heard that. That's very, very important to me. Um, but, but I think that they are starting to understand that, like, hey, we got a job to do. And, uh, and he's going to find the five guys. He's going to take the guys on November 11th in Navy that, that want to do things the way we're doing them. And, um, you know, so that's something that, that uh, hopefully continues to be ingrained in him. I, I really don't care uh, in, in terms of what they think. We have to think a certain way. I don't need individual thoughts this year. So are there young guys that are then going to be kind of vying for their starting spots and maybe freshmen? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I, I've, I've been very pleased with, with how the young guys have, have come in here. I think that, you know, you can look and say, geez, they got five starters back or, or whatever. Uh, I think that's it. And um, let me just get in the back seat. But I, I don't want those guys to get in the back seat. You know, I, I think the thing I like about the core of the new guys is, is they don't ask a lot of questions. They just do what they're told to do. And, and, and that, to me, is, is a step in the right direction.